Today's Ask Dr. Melissa question comes from Bobby, and she says, I need to know the best way to detox lead from my body. Seven years out from chemo and detoxing as much as I can, and I still have the same amount of lead. It's discouraging. Is chelation IV safe? Is there another better way? So Bobby, this is a fantastic question and one I often hear from my patients who've undergone assorted cancer treatments involving chemotherapy. One of the most important body systems that you need to focus on to invigorate your detox process is your lymphatic system. That will help release some of those toxic chemicals that we can hold in our body for decades. So even though you're seven years out of your chemotherapy, it's not uncommon for individuals to still be showing high levels of certain chemicals or um, metals like lead 20, 30 years after the fact. So just know some of the things that you can do are going to be supportive of your lymphatic process. Your lymphatic system gets bogged down by chemotherapy and just the active nature of killing all sort of, sorts of cells to get rid of the cancer cells. So we need to open up that system. I'll share with you a few resources that I talk a lot about over on my YouTube channel and there's a ton of videos. I think I have 50 or 60 videos that share tactical resources, DIY, massage techniques, but here are a few that you can do immediately. One, rebound. Get on a mini trampoline and bounce up and down. If you can't bounce fully, well, lifting off of the trampoline pad, there are some trampolines that you can have a handlebar. And so you don't necessarily need to have that bounce up of off of the trampoline to get the effect, but the act of bouncing up and down research, actually NASA research shows that that act of bouncing on a trampoline opens up the lymphatic valves and helps circulate and really helps minimize the, to the toxins and the burden on the lymphatics in removing toxic waste and cellular debris from the system. The other thing, the second thing you can do, and I have a download and we can include here for you to download, I have a free resource that shares with you how to do dry skin body brushing. That is a manual technique for you to motivate your lymphatic system. I recommend that all of my cancer patients do two sessions, morning and evening, so kind of sandwich the day with your dry skin body brushing techniques. And this is a really good way to invigorate that flow of the lymphatics so that we are detoxing the system. As far as IV chelation, one of the things that I caution folks on doing any type of chelation therapy, it can be highly effective at removing sorted things like lead or mercury arsenic from the body, but it's only, only powerful if all your routes of elimination are clear, meaning you have good healthy bowel movements, your lymphatic system is working properly, and you have good urination flow, you're sweating well. So that is really important as well as your lungs. You wanna make sure your lungs are clear, breathing is, is a functional at an optimal level, and you don't have any type of um, imbalances in the capacity to breathe well or have mucus build up in the bronchioles. So making sure that those three routes of elimination are open and clear, if you have any skin eruptions, you want to clear those up before doing IV chelation. So that's really important. IV chelation can be powerful, but it's also a strain on your system. So you don't want to do anything that would strain the system or cause overwhelm. You want to make sure first the routes of elimination are open and so that the effective nature of the IV chelation can take place. But it isn't a bad idea. I would try it one time, see how you do, see if you have any you know ill reactions or abnormal symptoms, and then repeat maybe once a month. I wouldn't do a lot of back-to-back, -back, which is often what gets sold or represented to patients. So I hope that was helpful and do check out some of my resources. They're all free to you. You can check them out on YouTube and there's a free download that you can grab as well that details the step-by-step -step of how to dry skin body brush your body.